Finally got something I've wanted for a long time today. And I finally forked out for it. After I sold a few things on Gumtree and eBay. They're so cheap. Well, I only got a cheap Chinese one. It is a variable power supply. I'm gonna unbox it. Power lead, appliance lead, and some test loads. It's really light, it's a switched one, it's really light. You can really, really tell the difference that there's no transformers in there. I'm not sure, I'm not up with my power supply theory, but DC switching seems to be, well, switching power supply seems to be the way to go now. More efficient and whatnot, but I'm not sure in a variable power supply if that's a good for me or bad. But anyway, we are going to test it out. Look, it's, it's nice and small compared to those big ass, uh, you know, other ones. Cool. This is going to make life so much easier. Instead of having, like you got here, you can adjust your current and your voltage. I usually, when I need a power supply, I will look through a tub or two of um, power packs and just find something that matches what I need. And it's, you know, it's not, it, it, it's workable, but it's not as good as something like this, which I can just tune it in. Bam, that's what I want. I can limit the current. That's gonna be very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, well, let's, let's, let's just fire it up. It's a, it's only a cheap one. It's off eBay. It's a QJE PS3010. 0 to 30 volts, 0 to 10 amp. Wow. Just a 10 amp. It, it, you know, just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel right in the way. It feels like it should be a lot heavier. Let's get this off. Dun, 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 dun. I should have this one already ready. Oh. We'll just plug it in and we'll put the multimeter over and just see how. Oh, look at what's that say there? 5 amp. Oh, 225 amp, yep. When the temperature and radiator goes up to 50 degrees, the radiator fan will cool automatically to accelerate spreading the heat. So the fan must just come on and off. Oh, serial number. Dun 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 dun. Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, it's okay, the plug's not in. It's just got a cheap ass. Hey, there you go. Now over the, there's a lot of, there's cheaper ones, mainly five amp, I don't know about the 10 amp, but this 10 amp was about $110 AU. Um, I, th I thought if I don't get the 10 amp, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is need the 10 amp, so I, I just went to it, and it's nice and small. The 5 amp ones were of the same voltage. <clears throat> they were like, I don't know, $70, $75. There was lots more of those. But I really liked a better screen on these. They had the old segment displays, red, and they just they just weren't pretty. I didn't want that grinding away at my eyeballs while I'm working on stuff, especially late at night. Um, yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh. Thirty one volt volts. Down, 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 down. Cool. this oh. 
Hopefully you can see both. Um, let's put the currents right up. Let's do some voltage. Point. Oh, I've turned it down a bit too much now. Uh, 2.3, we're in 2.37, 2.2. So, you know, it's off. It's off a little bit. Oh, but, ah, uh, it's only cheap. As long as you know about it, you can, you can plan for it. I mean, that's close enough. Close enough for the stuff I'm doing. It makes a bit of noise when you're adjusting it. Oh. Over 10, 10 volts, getting 10.1 volts. On 20 volts, we get 20.2. 20 volts is spot on 20 volts. That's weird. Let's bump it up to 30. 30 volts is spot on 30 volts. So the high voltages are no problem. Let's go try 10 volts again. Well, maybe it's warmed up a bit, maybe it's burned in a little, but now, 10 volts is 10 volts. It's very, very spot on. Now we're looking for one volt. <sighs> Which is very, very touchy. I mean, one volt to 1.1, it's right on the edge, but here we're 1.1 volt. Pretty, pretty good. Let's probably won't be able to catch this with the multimeter. One thing these this supply will do, which will be bad, I say put it on 20 volts. That's close enough. When you turn it on, when you first turn it on, it probably sends a surge through a power, and that's not good if you're working on micro microcontrollers and stuff, because that could let it through and blow the voltage that is on the circuit board. I don't think we're going to really see this though. We'll need an oscilloscope. Yeah, it just went straight to 20.3, but again, might be a few split seconds there. Now, can you hear that noise it's making? It's not even a constant noise, it's erratic. Hmm, interesting. Won't be a bother though. Go in with the room ambient ambience. Oh, that cable tied this one. Oh, this is gonna make life so much better. Oop. Let's wind that down. Let's get something out of here. 
and we'll try it out. And some LEDs. An XML Cree. This is going to be bright. Oh, these these alligator clips are very slippery. That's better. <laughs> I'll shine that away from my eyeball. It's 2.5 volt. I'm already blind. Here's something interesting. I'll turn it off. It's still on. There it goes. Takes a long time for it to the cap caps to drain. <laughs> 